<sighs> we are now employed by the same homoerotic burly flower shop guy. And I made us a website. And I hope they get paid accordingly for it. Anyway, uh, Karin and I are now walking back to work together down Main Street after purchasing some supplies requested by Becky. I like the heat, but not too much of it, and not... And uh, humidity is also a no-no. Uh... Samui? Yeah, that's true. You can just take off your jacket, you know. I'm heating up just by looking at you, Karen. God damn. Ease up. It's only <laughs> it's only the morning for fuck's sake, or maybe it's morning, I don't know. Karen suddenly falls silent and looks at me. She opens her mouth for a second, but, but looking rather restless, she closes it again. Uh, what? Uh, am I supposed to do something here? Gee, I don't know. Maybe kiss her again? Maybe? I don't know. Let's observe Karin a bit more. Hey! Whoa, well, what are you... What are you, uh, yoinking there? <clears throat> <clears throat> she slips her cold hand under my shirt. Oh, you. <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, it's funny. She slips her cold hand under my shirt and pinches my belly. Really? Oh, so I'm guessing he doesn't have any stomach hair. Not sure what's so interesting about that, but please get your hand off me. Wow. It tickles, you know. Come on, you know you like it. Yamate! <laughs> <laughs> I tried grabbing Karin's wrist to make her stop, but that just makes her smile. Cut that out! It tickles, you know. She's just gonna keep doing it, you know. <laughs> Listen when I'm talking. <laughs> Come on, a surprise attack like that would shock anyone. <laughs> yeah, it would. I'm breaking out into a weird sweat over here. You leave me no choice but to restrain this hand for now. Oh. I haven't? <laughs> Is getting me to hold her hand or plan all along? Well, it worked. <laughs> we hand over the receipt for the detergent and other supplies to receive our compensation. Uh, process. Becky disappears into the back. The coast clear, Karin rushes up to me. She then gently places her hand against my face. Whoa, uh, Nani? Karin looks entranced as she holds her hand against my cheek. 
ついてる。おお。マジで。the hell。thought you were gonna kiss me for a second。Karn takes out a handkerchief and wipes my mouth before looking back in satisfaction. <laughs> Hi. What do you mean by process? Uh huh. See. Huh. I thought flower shops just sold cut flowers. I didn't know they had to process them like that, too. I mean, what are they gonna do? Just let their stock die? Yeah, I can see that. Card. You're serving customers, doing office work, and you process flowers too? So you're getting paid enough? Well, That's admirable. It's nice to have a passion for work and all. Her eyes are kind of bloodshot. Oh. She might be working too hard. What time did she go to sleep last night? Yeah, uh, come She is positively radiant today. Indeed. If only I could be that passionate about work. Well, give it some time. This is only your second day. Ja! One thing I can do for her now is to fulfill my promise of increasing the shop sales 20 fold. Encouraged by that go getter of a girl, I step into the office feeling refreshed. I open the file I was working on yesterday. In the span of a single day, my perspective on it has changed entirely. I thought it looked kind of cool yesterday, but now that I look at it again, it's rather lacking. I tried changing some of the materials and composition, but it's doubtful that this will be enough to dramatically boost sales. Mm. The more I think about it, the less I understand. Ah, oh, so Losing my train of thought. Ah, oh, hello, Becky. And Karin. Oh, they're back. I suppose they're been processing flowers for now. Yeah, uh, speaking of uh, co workers, where is that random employee that was pestering Karin? Becky wipes off each arm the way you'd expect an old man to. Wow. That running eyeshadow was not a good look either. Ugh. God damn. <coughs> Whoa, okay, what the hell? Damn. Eh? What was that scream? Cotton! Dust and all! Oh, you're... Don't tell me it's a spider. Oh. Okay. That's worse. <laughs> Nani! She 
climbs onto her desk and dreadfully peeks down at the floor. What a scaredy cat. Oh, please. You don't know if that thing is, is a ground dweller or it flies. Flying cockroaches are apparently a thing. Now that sounds awfully violent. <laughs> I myself have never seen a cockroach in person, but if I know if I did, I'd probably freak the fuck out whenever like whenever I see a bee. I have a history with bees. Well, I don't think many women can. Since when? Yeah, where'd you get that info? Uh, okay, Karin, you're going a bit far there. God damn. Calm down. Okay, that's a terrifying thought, but calm down! Damn, she's starting to hyperventilate again. Okay, just leave it to me, Karin. Guess I gotta man up here and show off. <laughs> yeah, just relax. Watch from up there on the desk. Okay, here's your chance to shine. Becky, I choose you! <laughs> oh, forget about it. <laughs> wow. Becky just beat the shit out of it with a rolled up magazine. Once again, I have cut a worthless object. <laughs> Because I was scared too, damn it! Wow, dude. Way to uh, backtrack on the manly th manliness there. But wow. Becky's amazing. That was pretty cool. Okay, you're being a little melodramatic there, aren't you? Uh, I don't think that's a thing. <sighs> okay, Karin, you need to calm down. Then you'll have a lot more mouths to feed at breakfast. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, what? What do you mean, play the straight man? I am the straight man. That was supposed to be a joke? Yeah, I didn't get it. <laughs> Dead body parts? Yeah, no shit. I'm not sure what cockroaches have to do with innocence. <laughs> Becky tosses the contaminated magazine into the trash and nonchalantly washes nonchalantly washes up. Ah, uh, so Becky, uh, did you make that bouquet? Bouquet I asked you about yesterday. Oh, Hi. What a pro. Finishing up overnight like that. I mean, yeah. Flowers are his calling. I'm guessing. Okay, in that case, it's back to work, I guess. 
私もまた表に出ないとだからそろそろ準備しないと OK good luck She fearfully puts her feet back on the floor checks her desk area again just to be safe <sighs> She retires her apron and combs her fingers through her, the back of her hair. <laughs> uh, I, I think it was the last episode I made the, the reference to the one song by the police. It's called uh, Every Little Thing She Does Is Magic. Damn. Every little thing she does is sexy. That's the that's the tune of the the melody of the song. The the tune. You know what I mean. Well, I guess it's back to the grind for me too. I lost some time thanks to that roach. Guess I better get some pictures of that bou bouquet. Yeah, and uh, speaking of that roach, there might be a few more somewhere. <laughs> hmm. Sounds like someone's having fun out front. Now I'm curious. Huh? Whoa, what is that? In front of them is a stupidly huge flower stand with a message board attached. On top of the thin, delicately balanced legs of the flower stand is an arrangement of all sorts of flowers. Huh. Oh, Sugoi! There's some red and blue balloons attached up top. Some sort of cutesy face made out of flowers in the center. Hmm. I've seen this sort of thing in live events before. Did you make this face in the center too, Becky? So, yo. Uh, what character are we talking about here? It's like an icing drawing on top of a birthday cake. Ooh. I usually don't understand the appeal of bouquets, but even I can understand how impressive this is. I like how they don't even show it. Becky, are you some sort of florist god? <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> Jesus Christ! What kind of character did you model this after? That's a completely unnecessary feature! <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they will. Still wish I could see it, though. Sound like an impressed innocent kid. Yeah, I guess Becky's got a point. Yeah, he does. I need to think of something that'll attract just as many customers as this. Hi, 
Becky squats down and easily lifts up the heavy looking flower stand. You know, Becky is unexpectedly manly in some a in uh, some respects. Yeah, you don't want to get him riled up like yesterday. <laughs> uh, Takeo Saito. Uh, Becky, I didn't say it. Hi. Karn checks each flower on display one by one and finally adjusts the angle of their price tags. <laughs> yes. She really seems to enjoy being surrounded by flowers. Karin, uh, what do red roses mean in the language of flowers? You're really gonna ask that question. Thanks! I just wanted to hear that. So... Nay, uh... Do you know what these flowers mean? I point to some orange and pink flowers over to the side. Zinnias, apparently. Price tags of some small text explaining each flower. What's this? It's also known as the youth and old... Uh, youth and old age flower. Since it can bloom again and again, huh? Listen up, Karin. This flower's meaning is... I want you. No, that... I know he's bullshitting. Yeah, it's also known as the youth and old age flower, right? Because lovers must desire each other at all times. Both the youth and old age. Remember that. I just made that up naturally, yeah. Even I knew that was made up. God, what a crock of shit that was. I want to give you one of those zinnias as a present. Incidentally, gazania means I want to go on a date with you. Are you seriously calling me a liar? I mean, I'm calling you full of shit, so. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm lying my ass off right now. Of course you are. You don't know the first thing about flowers. Uh, I'm sorry, that customer did nothing wrong. And these, uh, pink carnations mean eternal love. <laughs> Once again, he's probably bullshitting. ごく綺麗って喜んでくれたわ。あら、このジニアってお花綺麗ね。明日主人の誕生日だから買っていこうかしら。Oh, what is he gonna do? Oh my god. <laughs> he actually put it into her head that they mean I want you. Hi? She's losing her shit in front of a customer. Thanks. 
Good job, Hajime. Dumbass. Oi! Karin blocks the old lady's path and tries to recommend other flowers instead. Zinnia sure are great. You're beautiful. Please, feel free to buy some as a present. <sighs> Karin, you're adorable, but you're a fucking airhead. Oh, calm down, Karin. I'm sure it'll be fine. No shit, Sherlock. Oh my god. You are a fucking airhead. <laughs> my bad, but at least the old lady seemed happy, right? <laughs> oh, this guy is an asshole. <laughs> Looking for any flowers in particular, ma'am? Uh, yesterday. Young. <laughs> you flatter me, ma'am. God. Would you like to come with me to somewhere more fun than a retire? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Would you like to come with me to somewhere more fun than a retirement home? He's an asshole and a fucking idiot. Because he's an idiot. I took plenty of pictures of both Becky's bouquet and several choice flowers that girls might like. Kind of hard to do any image editing here. I guess I'll use my own computer when I get home. I can use placeholder images today, and replace them later. It's a drinking party? Uh, who are you again? <laughs> yeah, but you never told me your name. Alright, she's the girl that was mimicking Karin. Yeah, all because of you. Dumbass. I didn't know you were holding a party. Apparently, there's gonna be a drinking party today to welcome the newcomers. Becky's treat. Natch. What the fuck does that mean? Karen -chan to osake -nomi ni -tari -shi -nai no? Yeah, not yet. Th that I remember, anyway. Uh, not really. I've only done so with that mixer. Oh, that's right, there was alcohol at the mixer. Oh? Is she not a drinker? I kinda wanna see her get drunk, though. What is it with you and wanting to see your significant others get drunk? Excited by our upcoming weekday drinking party. It's a weekday, dear god. I spend the rest of the workday in good spirits. Having the party at the pub? <laughs> ah, I got the. Uh, guess I'll have a draft beer. Becky, what? Let me get some martini. Mama. Oh. I'm I'm Oh. 
car, and you don't, you don't have to give it to peer pressure if you don't want to. Drink what you want. You want a peach fizz, right? Want a peach fizz? I don't even know what a peach fizz is. Women with a mole under an eye. Uh, what? Mole under an eye always start off with a peach fizz. Yeah. I don't know what the hell you're looking at. Oh boy. As Garn sitting on the aisle, she takes the initiative to hand out the plates and moist towelettes. You look like the new kid on the block when you do that. Uh, technically, I am. Considering I started here after you did. Arigato! Uh, soon enough, Becky, soon enough. Does that really count as flirting? I don't know. I don't understand. Everyone grabs a mug and waits for Becky's signal. You know, I really hope that that actually happens and he's not full of crap like he usually is. Because then, uh... Yeah, he's gonna make himself look like a complete jackass if he doesn't get them 20-fold. Kanpai! Huh. It's a crack on my mug's handle. Uh-oh. Kanpai! Ah, I'm Taco Wasabi! Taco Wasabi? God, that's making my mouth hot just thinking about it. Ah, oh, This beer's great! Refreshing drinking from a chilled mug. I wonder where this beer's from. Wait, cold sake? You mean to tell me there's hot sake? Huh. It's me, Karin, that one lady, and Becky at one table. And three staff members who work different shifts at the table next to us. It's all women besides me. And an Okama. <laughs> the lady forces her way up next to me with a draft beer in hand. Oh my god, really? Uh, Konnichiwa. Uh, hi. I'm new. Mainly working on the homepage. すっごい。うちってみんな6に。パソコン触れない人ばっかりだから。あなたみたいな人がいてくれると助かるわ。ね、今度ちょっとだけ作業を見せてもらっていい。私ホームページができていくところを見てみたい。Oh, uh, sure. I'll be waiting in the representative director's seat. So that's all I'm good for. I'm good for... I'm only good for the yen. It's like Karin's having a hard time with that beer, after all. 
Can I have a snack? What did you like the last time you were here? Whoa, they got a Tepon. Let's order some Mentai Tamago, too. <laughs> oh, sure, I'll drink some. She politely pours me some alcohol. Damn, I'm so happy. Uh, I had a feeling you would chime in eventually. I don't know, is it? <laughs> this company is sounding shadier by the minute. I know we're talking over drinks, but but still. Well, I'm sure Karin can answer succinctly, even if she's a little tipsy. Oh, I, I actually want to hear this. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> well, so much for that. My back. That's kind of a niche fetish. Ah, Kora Kora. I'm Mario Carino Sage Joe. What's in Sakusha? Yeah. I'd have got Becky. Ja, it's more Kayo. They're stuck in a pride, though. So. At least you tried. Got a bad feeling about this. She's gonna freak the fuck out. You immediately tell them the bad stuff after you get asked the question, what good stuff do you like? Jesus Christ. Okay, first of all... Empty- or washing out shampoo bottles and then refilling them? Huh. That's a new one. And he doesn't put down the toilet lid. I think every guy is guilty of that at some point. Wow, you made this entire place get quiet. Good job. Karin, uh, are you going on a drunken rant? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Kiss. 
したいかもキスしたいかもキスはいしたいかもキスしたいかもあのあえちょっと待ってあなたたち一緒に住んでるの Gee, was it that hard to figure out? That's a fine grave she just dug for us. <laughs> Oi, uh, cotton. Uh, you're drunk. How about some oolong tea? Let's get her something non alcoholic. Okay, it's not like I intended to hide it anyway. It's a lot easier to just let it out into the open now instead of living in fear of it leaking. Guess this is as good as an opportunity as any. Uh, why? Huh? How? A woman's, uh, an o Okama's intuition? <laughs> oh. Yep, that'll do it. This so was obvious from the start. Well, yeah, no shit. Both of your resumes had the same address. Hold your horses, sit down. <laughs> Don't write your letter of resignation when you're drunk. Say that. Hi. So that the Dose Sekat no Omoshiro episode to what? Uh, to find it music. Motto if I are the show, Nether Kalashi. No, all that stuff has help has happened when we're awake. As far as I know. <laughs> we're just getting her all kinds of flustered. Sit down. Hey, <laughs> Skewers, fries, cheese rolls, tepon gyoza, and stingray fin. Stingray fin? Huh. Large order of snacks comes in while cards still standing frozen in place. Everyone grabs their chopsticks and digs in. You ordered way too much, Becky. <laughs> You say so.
Not sure about the sly part, though. Yeah, this guy's smoothness isn't exactly, uh, good. Karin bashfully looks away as she sips her oolong tea. <laughs> well, it's true that we argue a lot, though. I guess so. There are things our we do things our way, which just so happens to involve butting heads from time to time. Oh yeah. Eh? No, if a couple isn't afraid to disagree. That's a sign of how close they are. <sighs> Guilty. Him and me. Uh, well, yeah, maybe I am. That has nothing to do with this. <laughs> okay, you're not helping. I settled in with this group before I knew it. I spent some time drinking strong booze and watching my girlfriend get roasted by our new co-workers. Uh-oh. Uh Karin passed out at the pub and is now clinging to my arm as she totters about on the, on the walk home. Her modest but soft breasts keep pushing against me. Uh, are you okay? Did you drink too much? Mm. Well, hang in there. We're almost home. It'd be dangerous for me to carry you on, on my back when I'm drunk, too. Taking a bath is going to be tricky. Yeah, assuming it gets to that point. I don't feel like waiting for Karin to finish her bath. Did she get mad if I asked if we could take one together? I mean, didn't you do that after... You know... say this right now. She's not Mashiro, but she's still adorable. Yeah, sure. You can sleep in the same futon every now and then. Is she gonna be tipsy all night? Yeah, and in the morning she's gonna have one hell of a hangover, I bet. Oh. I've actually never drank that much before, but I can imagine it hurts like a motherfucker if you get a hang if you get a hangover. Contrary to my expectation, Karn falls asleep as soon as we get home. Karn passed out defenseless on my futon. Makes her a pretty tempting sight, but she looks so happy in her sleep that I choose to just cuddle up next to her and go to sleep too. That a boy. Doke. Karin and I got plastered, had our relationship revealed to our co-workers, and next time, I don't know what this, I don't know what this dialogue signifies, but uh, until then, don't be a dick to your significant other, 
keep on rocking.